Peace and blessings, beautiful people. Peace and blessings. This is Empress Imani, and welcome to this episode of Sacred Love Lessons. Every day is a journey, and the journey itself is home. Matsuo Basho. Each person's road to discovering harmony looks different. As sacred love lessons, we respect each individual and know that people should have sacred space to grow into the goddess God they were born to be. We're in season four, The Art of Being You, 46 Laws of Spiritual Power. And today we're covering Law 15, Develop Your Spirit Being. Our objective today is to be our authentic selves in a way that empowers us. In this episode, you will learn the secret to feeling seen, being heard, and being valued for your unique contribution to this planet as a light being. The universe is impersonal. The universe is law and order. The laws work for whomever works them. This means you take full responsibility for your life and everything in it and develop your spiritual self. We are spirit beings having a human experience. At the root of who we are is divine source energy. In this episode, I will refer to this energy as love. Love is divine source energy in all of us. And it is when we honor that love, we can be whole, happy, and in harmonious alignment. One way to honor the love within you is to develop spiritually. The path will look differently for each of us. This is a journey of exploration and discovery, a journey where you must lose yourself in order to find yourself. Now today, I'm only offering some suggestions to help jumpstart you on your journey. So the first thing that you can do to develop your spiritual being is one, discover your energy blueprint. This is the energy of exploration. Mayans, often referred to this energy as Nawal A. This energy moves you on an inner exploration to integrate and remember who you truly are. This is where you ask yourself, who am I? This can be done intuitively or by using tools such as numerology, astrology, human design, Nawals, angels, archetypes, tarot, and moon mapping, among many others. No matter which tool you use, you want to ask yourself, who am I? Number two, discover your needs and desires by paying attention to the patterns in your life. This is where you use the energy of introspection and reflection. I call it Sankofa. Ask yourself, what do I really love and value? What do I really love and value? Number three, learn how to master your energy. Learn how to be and behave in a way that empowers you. You have the power to create your own reality. For example, I require time alone in order to recharge and refill my cup. One way I do this is by spending time alone in nature. This is where you ask yourself, what is my heart, my soul, calling me to? What is my heart, my soul calling me to? For me, my soul, my heart calls me to travel. It calls me to nature. Now, what happens when you develop spiritually? When you develop spiritually, you one, you know who you are and no one can move you off your square. Once you know, you cannot unknow. So number one, you know who you are. Number two, you gain clarity on how your energy works. When you learn how your energy works, then you learn how to move within this 3D dimension in a way that's in alignment with your energy blueprint. Number three, you stop giving your power away to people. This is a really big one. You know, a lot of times before we become conscious, before we are awakened, We give our power away. Once you know, you cannot unknow. Once you see, you cannot unsee. And you will no longer give your power away 
when you learn the ways in which you have done so in the past. And it's okay, just forgive yourself and move on, right? You didn't know. Number four, you empower yourself. You free yourself from false dreams, ambitions, and desires. Again, once you see, you cannot unsee. Five, your life has meaning and purpose because you have given it meaning and purpose. You move forward on your path in purpose in the energy of something greater than yourself. And number six, you create a peaceful reality that supports you, helps you thrive, and forever changes you. I'll leave you with this final thought. Every journey is valid, no matter how it is traveled. You are free to be yourself. Life is all made up by the meaning you give to it. And only you can define who you are, what you have, and your perception of the world. The essence of spiritual development is not so much about traveling on a path, but becoming the path yourself. The power is yours and is within you. This is our Law 15 of 46 Laws of Spiritual Power. Develop your spirit being. So that's all I have for you today. I hope this episode has been of value. If you're listening on YouTube, please click the like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And until we speak again, be the light.